The big highlight of the August issue is the show section for the Great American Stamp Show, which is coming up um, from August 12th to 15th in Chicago. So what we publish in the August issue about the show, uh, by necessity, because of our the print schedules, is not going to be the final version of what you will see on the show floor and on the show program uh, that you receive when you attend the show. So uh, what I recommend is to go to our website, stamps.org slash G-A-S-S, -S, and see the full event listing as it's updated and also see the booth numbers of the dealers and the societies, uh, just so you can be the most prepared for uh, attending the show. I think the August issue is celebratory. Uh, for one thing, we are extremely excited to be able to come back to the Great American Stamp Show and bring this show to you. Um, and it's also celebratory because we have a section uh, honoring the people who have won this year's highest awards that the American Philatelic Society gives out. And that includes uh, the extremely prestigious Leff Awards for distinguished philatelic research, for outstanding contributions to philately as a whole, and for uh, dedicated service to the American Philatelic Society. We also are honoring people who have been dedicated volunteers to the hobby on both the national and local levels. We also are excited to celebrate outstanding education efforts and excellence in writing and research uh, in APS publications. Uh, so September's issue is going to include, among other things, an article about New Guinea and the UN Temporary Executive Authority overprints that were used uh, on New Guinea stamps from 1962 to 1963. Uh, this may sound dense. It's going to be an extremely informative article. And the reason why I'm bringing it up is because it ties in really well with an event that will be held here at the American Philatelic Center in October, and that's UN Expo. And so that will be an exposition all about the United Nations and its issues and its, you know, historical and philatelic context. And that is sponsored by the United Nations Philatelists Incorporated. And we're really looking forward to hosting people as they come to the APC in October.